Okay, how to pass the GED in 2018. Um, I'm making this video right in the beginning of 2018, uh, January 3rd to be specific. So those of you out there watching around this time frame, uh, I want to wish you a happy new year. And um, I hope that you're you know excited uh, about passing the GED. And by the way, what, um, thinking about the GED very quickly here, this doesn't have to take you the entire year to to pass okay if you do uh, if you follow these three tips I'm going to give you can really accelerate um, not only the uh, your chances of passing a GED which I can guarantee you that you can pass a GED no matter what uh, where you're starting from okay I've, I've, this is something I work with a lot of students um, nationally and even um, overseas through my site at gedmathlessons.com. So I've um, been running the site for many years, I've had a chance to interact with all types of students with all types of backgrounds. Um, so if you think that, hey, you know, there's no way I can pass, I've, you know, it's been 40 years, I've dropped out of school, I don't remember anything, I'm telling you right now, you can pass and it won't take you as long as you think okay but you do need some guidance going forward so <clears throat> that's my job in this video is to give you three solid tips that if you f concentrate on these that's really going to change everything for you so let's get into it and the first thing is your mindset all right your mindset you're going to have to take a good healthy look at what is your current mindset right now when it, when it comes to yourself not just the GED I'm talking about your confidence um, do you are you confident in yourself in the sense that can you achieve goals whether they even be s smaller goals or task you know a lot of us <clears throat> including myself you might say well you know last year's goals or previous year's goals you know I really don't follow through yeah I have these wishes and things so I'm not the type of person that really you know achieves big goals if you think in, in those terms, okay, you're going to have to change your mindset, okay, this is the first thing, you can achieve big things, all right, there's nothing out there that pre will prevent prevent you, the only thing that's limiting is your, th your thinking, okay, this is the most challenging aspect to, um, to all of us out there, is to really have a different set of expectations for ourselves and saying, well, you know, I actually can pass. I'm actually am a kind of go-getter. I'm actually this or that. Whatever you, whatever is the most positive vision of yourself, the most powerful vision of yourself, you need to start convincing you that, that that's who in fact you are, okay? That you aren't this person that can't do this. I messed up in this area. Uh, I'll never be this, that, another thing. If you have these kind of, this kind of programming going on, you're going to have to just, you know, make an itemized lift of that and just say, this is just a false perception. That's just your perception of yourself. That's not reality. You got to convince yourself that, hey, you know what? My mindset needs to change. Okay. And this is, you know, the GED is, is, is obviously part of that. But if you, if you don't think that you can do something, I guarantee you're not going to be able to do it. Okay. And, and the reverse is true. If you think you could do something, if you think you're this, your self-confidence in yourself is going to follow through. So how do you change your mindset? Well, one, I would you know, suggest that you get a piece of paper down and just write some statements down. What do you think of yourself? All right. And just be honest with yourself because, you know, um, it's you're having a conversation with you. And just write down, hey, what is, what's the real thinking that's going on with me? And then just say, hey, listen, this is all just a perception. And then you're going to have to start reprogramming yourself. I would get into um, some personal development things on, you know, uh, that will help you shift your mindset. Do a little research on that because this is more than just about the 20, um, the passing a GED in 2018. This is about your rest of your life and all about the different aspects that you're going to um, achieve. It's huge. I would probably say the number one reason that people have not passed the GED is because their mindset. It's their mindset. So if you think that, well, why are you speaking a lot of time about, you know, the mindset? This is the GED. It's, it's, just, it's just an exam. Well, people don't pass because they don't, they don't have the confidence. They don't put the time. They don't feel like they're worthy or whatever the case is. So take a look at your mindset and you need to change it. Okay. And this is going to serve you uh, for the rest of your life. All right. So let's move on to the next thing. 
Okay, so the next thing might seem kind of crazy, <laughs> but hopefully uh, it'll make sense when I explain it to you. Don't focus on the goal. Don't focus on the goal. So the goal is to pass the GED in 2018. So you're like, what do you mean don't focus on that? Um, that's what I want to do. Well, if you focus on the goal, you've already in the past been focusing on this goal. I need to pass a GED. I want to pass a GED. You see that kind of thing out there long term. But that's not, you, you don't need to be focusing on that, okay? What you need to be focusing on is your actions, all right? You need to just focus on your daily routine. <clears throat> Are you the kind of person that puts in the time to work? Prove it to yourself every day, whether it's five minutes studying. Do something every single day to reinforce in your brain that you're the kind of person that, that, is working towards passing your GED. So you need to focus on your action. Don't focus on your daydream. Um, and it's good to daydream. Don't, I mean, I'm not trying to say that, hey, you don't get yourself motivated in terms of the visions you have. Hey, what, this is this is what the, you know, passing a GED, it's gonna open up this opportunity, that opportunity. Yes, you need to have that internal motivation, but but everybody has those, those type of motivations. So hey, if I only had this, I can do this. But how many people do you know, you know, focus on these big goals, but they don't achieve them because they're they're caught up in in, in the novelty or they're, they're caught up in the and the, their imagination. But they actually don't translate that into actual action. OK, you need to focus on your actions and a little tiny bit of work every day is going to prove to yourself that hey, you are the kind of person and you're going to start building momentum. This goes back to what we talked about in the beginning about your mindset, okay? The only way you're going to change your mindset is by reprogramming yourself that you are a different type of person, okay? The only way that happens is convincing yourself through kind of a daily routine. This is very much like uh, changing your habits. Okay. Uh, I think the studies out there used to say 30 days. You had to do something every single day uh, for 30 days to change your habits. I think that's actually up to 60 days. You, we all know how difficult it is to change a habit, um, either to instill a, a good habit or to get rid of a poor habit. It's, it's a lot of work. Okay. So you focus on your actions. In other words, study a little bit every day, do something that's in alignment to your goal. And your goal is the GED, but don't focus on that. Do something that's in alignment that's going to get you there. And this has kind of a compound effect. Um, if you're familiar with compound interest, you know, for example, when people say, hey, save for your retirement, 40, if you put away $100 a month for, in, uh, you know, in your 401k, you know, in 40 years, you'll have millions of dollars. Same kind of thing on, on, a, on a lower level. It, in other words, if you invest a little bit of time every day, it will kind of start having this exponential growth effect. Believe me when I tell you, um, uh, this is true, okay? But you gotta be willing to invest through your actions. So focus on that. In other words, document it, write things down, prove to yourself, hold yourself accountable, just be committed. I'm gonna start, I don't care if it's as little as three minutes per day. Do something every single day and then build up from there. Three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. Okay, so let's take a look at the last thing. And that is to have a good plan, okay, and then follow it. In other words, don't wing it. Uh, there's a lot of good plans out there to pass the GED. You're going to need some help. Now, I, I'm, I'm not stating here, um, giving you this is the plan to follow because that's not that's not good advice. There's a lot of different good paths you can take to um, uh, to pass a GED. Let me, let me give you a few um, examples. One, you can go to like an adult night school, take some GED classes. Those that's that that's good for a lot of people and that works. OK, so if that's if that's kind of like your style of learning and you have that available to you, then that's a good plan. So commit to it and follow it. All right. Now, if you'd rather kind of do some self-study, maybe you could then get yourself a good GED exam book, and you know that's a good route as well. Okay, but follow your plan. Do you know really 
think about, hey, what what have people done? You know, what what does success look like? You know, and, and you do a little research, talk to people maybe who have passed the GED, um, and and then just say, okay, that that sounds like something that I can do, and then follow that pattern of success. But the deal here is to follow it. You don't want to start a plan and change a plan. This is the worst thing uh, uh, people do. They'll start with a plan and they'll be like, oh, this plan doesn't seem to be yielding results, so they'll go to this plan. And then they'll kind of like, well, I don't know about that, and then I'll go to this plan, and et cetera, et cetera. That is not good, okay? Follow a plan. My suggestion is to follow a pretty consistent plan, at least to you, you take your your first shot at the GED. Hopefully, you're going to pass on that. But if not, you can maybe do some reflection and, and kind of mix things up a little bit. But have a plan and follow it. Now, let me give you some um, uh, suggestions here, a little bit more specific. The number one uh, area where people struggle with on the on the GED, uh, the newer GED, and obviously it's this is a major change that goes back from 2014 is uh, math okay so if you struggle in math math is one of those skills it does take time to kind of build up the best thing one of the best ways okay and probably if not the best way to learn math is to have um, a, a learn from an actual math teacher in this day and age you either want to be in a classroom so if you're in, in taking GED um, you know uh, courses at, at some sort of school that's excellent it, the next best thing is to do it via like a video course. So I want to offer up my course, GEDMathLessons.com. It's a it's a free uh, video math course. My background is I taught math. I, I teach math middle school all the way through college. Um, but this has been um, very very successful. I've been having this site out here for many years with a ton of success. So if you need help with the math mathematics, you know. This is this could help you out. Now it's not all the subjects for the GED, but it's the most difficult subject that people you know um, find typically for the GED in, in, in terms of uh, passing it. All right, so use this as a resource. But there's other resources uh, out there as well. But here's the deal. Bottom line is 2018. Uh, this is your year. Okay, you can pass a GED. You change your mindset, you can really get this done. So you could open up new opportunities, whether it's you know a technical school, or going back to college, whatever the case is. Um, you know, get this GED you know in your corner, and but let that be only the first of many goals that you know you achieve. You know, starting in this year. Okay, so change that mindset. Don't focus on the GED, focus on the goals, uh, focus on your actions, I'm sorry here. Um, become that person that has those good habits of studying. And then, hey, find a good plan and follow it. All right, so if this video helps you out, um, you know, please subscribe to my channel. I'm always doing a ton of stuff out there uh, uh, for the GED. Uh, I'll, I do a lot of math videos. So if you look at my uh, YouTube channel, there's a lot of different things. And of course, uh, check out my site, gedmathlessons.com. I'll leave a link uh, to the video. And again, I want to wish you a great year.